Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, we have a different kind of shopping episode for today because I have to make an emergency visit to Louis Vuitton and talk to my CA because as you know, I have already unboxed my Louis Vuitton Alma BB here and I have noticed that the padlock is tarnishing so fast so I'm a little bit concerned and I wanted to check what we could do. So if you were experiencing the same thing as well, kindly comment down below. Also, aside from LV, we are going to check out Dior as well. So when we have visited, they have displayed the Lady Dior art and I'm so excited to share them to you. So guys, I'm inviting you to please watch until the end of our episode. Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about lace, about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-going fan. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account. That's at Ramir52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Hi guys, so we have just arrived here at Greenbelt. So again, this is just an emergency visit to LV because I wasn't expecting that we are going to go today. But um, as what I've shown you today, the padlock is a little bit tarnished. So hopefully I'm going to have it replaced. So I hope you enjoy today's episode. Alright, so when we have visited LV, the Louis Vuitton Yayoi Kusama collaboration is still up on display. So here we have the Louis Vuitton twist bag in the beautiful black epi leather. I'm not really sure of the polka dot LV logo. What do you think of that one, guys? So here is more close-up detail of the window display. So if you're going to let me choose now, I would definitely choose the one with the mushroom rather than the infinity dots. Here we have the Louis Vuitton Capo scenes. Every time I'm seeing this, I need to really check this out because it looks really so beautiful. Here we have a mini Capo scenes and another Yayo Kosama one with the white leather. More menswear pieces with the Yayo Kosama collaboration. So the infinity dots and the Eclipse monogram canvas. Here we have a Nano Speedy. Very, very cute. Let us check out more display inside the LV store. What do you think of the ready-to-wear pieces? We have a puffy skirt over here. Then we have this Dauphine bag here in this very beautiful metallic silver bronze finish. Here we have some beautiful SLGs. Let's check them out. So again, speed nano speedy over here. We have the this beautiful pochette cousin, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have the loop bag over here. More SLGs, and they do have the mini pochette, the with the heart shape zipper. More menswear bags from the Yayoi Kosama collaboration. What do you think of that sack plat? I love the size. I feel I would be able to carry it with me as much as I can. More SLGs from the menswear section. So we have sunnies. Ooh, beautiful necklace. Then we have the Lock Me Chain bag. Are you a fan of the Lock Me Chain bag? Please do comment down below. We have very beautiful Speedy in the bicolor on front leather in pink and black. We have SLGs here, super, super cute. And are you seeing this very beautiful bag? So we have in plain on front and we have the bicolor combination. Very cute bagatelle bag. So we have in pink and we have in the dove gray. We have on the go bag. So again, black in dove gray color. Then we have the new favorite bag. We have the Neo No Way. And I'm not really sure the name of that bag. So we have some scarves, some bennies, and more pieces from the Yayo Kusama collaboration. So we have more scarves here for you. So we have, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the largest one. What do you think of these very beautiful pieces? 
as you know guys i love a good top handle bag so we have this of course the alma then we have the pochette mid piece we have the speedies and we have on the go on the very top then also they do offer customization for the Louis Vuitton trunks how beautiful and nice it would be for example we could have our bags customized like this right so guys just to show you my OOTD for the day so I am carrying patience my Louis Vuitton Alma for the very first time I'm wearing my Chanel earrings I designed this pants over here and just look at this very beautiful combo so i just had to take a photo of this one so we have a pochette cousin back here sorry for the flickering lights and then we have the classic louis vuitton twist bag so epi leather then we have in silver hardware So I think I'm starting to learn my lesson in general. LV would do better if, for example, you would be choosing a silver hardware. What do you think, guys? So we have here some ready-to-wear pieces. So trying out this very cute on-the-go PM. So I think when I have visited this time, this size has just been released. So it's almost the same size as my Alma BB. What do you think? So classic monogram canvas with Yayoi's infinity dot paintings. So then we have this very beautiful and detailed twist back and more ready to wear pieces for you. So while waiting for my CA, he is polishing the padlock. So taking a couple of wheels inside the store, I just couldn't help it because I really am so in love with my Alma B. Then I've asked him for this one. It is a canvas strap. So the price of this one, it's around 29200 So what do you think of this? Well, this combination, so it's classic canvas on one side. And then on the other side, it's the black leather. So I've also tried another guitar strap here. So this one comes with the round coin purse. And then we have beautiful Alma pieces in black epi leather and the classic monogram canvas then i love this bag what do you think of this one so we have more beautiful speedies in bicolor um pot leather so more beautiful ready to wear pieces what do you think of this gold denim pants love the blazing but i'm just wishing it would not come off so we have a speedy 25 and a nano speedy so here they are side by side how cute mother and baby then we have the petite sack plaid. then here i am trying on this very beautiful bag sack plaid so so in love with this one i think it's the same size with the celine vertical canvas that i am crushing on so here we have more closer look so again eclipse monogram with leather detail trying on the pochette voyage so again this is like the toiletry pouch in the men's section still under the yayoi kusama collab more pieces so we have the soft trunk here we have the pochette voyage then we have the steamer wallet and we have more SLGs for you. We have the City Keeple. Then we have here very beautiful tote bag. Hi guys, so we have just finished at LP. So hope you enjoyed our episode for today. So after LV, since we are here, now let us check out Dior. Let's check out first the window display. So here we have the fall winter display for men's. What do you think of their ready-to-wear pieces? loving their display so we have here the lady t joy bag we have 
a studded mini Lady Dior and we have a patent medium Lady Dior. So more window display, how cute are these Lady Dior's? They are trying to hypnotize me but the micro mini Lady Dior is really really cute although it's not really functional because you could not fit anything inside but nevertheless they are really cute so we have here some canvas bags from the men's section and some ready-to-wear pieces we have these bags over here more bags so it's like a vanity bag again i'm not a fan of the cd dior of the monogram how about you guys here guys we have the lady dior art i am so lucky that when we have visited this was on display it's such a treat for you to be able to be able to check out this very beautiful display inside dior so let us check them one by one guys comment down below if you are liking anything so far so what i'm loving with the lady dior art definitely it is such a rare piece and definitely it would be an artwork suited for you to display and carry as well so we have here the red i love this one so it's an exotic skin this one guys i super super love of course it's beaded and you can see the intricacy of detail that went to the lady dior this one as well although i'm not really sure of the tool detail this one also beautiful but it gives me like a Van Gogh vibes not really a fan of that one this one too so we have a red lady dior then we have many like stamps this one also is very special very spring summer what do you think this one i like i think this is very architectural so i think this is the same artist and we have this very beautiful what does it write so loving and caring but definitely this one this is not part of the lady dior Satin art but yes 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 you are blamed out lady dior yes bob stitch sharp it's like one mm-hmm and then there's another division anna pearls yeah. so here are more close-up of the lady dior pieces so i believe this is just one artist beautiful but for me it's a no unfortunately then we have very beautiful carol bags they are really super cute right we have their micro bags over here just look at this puffy carol bag in that yellow gourd hardware so so gorgeous then we have more lady dior pieces classic medium lady dior sizes we have the saddle bags i am not a fan of embroidered i would choose rather this plain leather version again that's just me guys then we have the dior vanity bags and micro lady dior's now let us check out some bags in the menswear department so again guys for me i'm not really a huge huge fan of this um cd diamond logo how about you guys please comment down below more eye candy so this is the saddle version for men's we have belts and slgs have the tote so actually i would be choosing this print rather than this the cd diamond print what do you think guys i'm loving more the classic oblique i feel this print of course is a classic definitely it would never go out of style even though they would be changing the artistic director in the future it would still remain the same so we have here more saddle bags we have like speedies or their travel bags then we have the tote bags 
there so hopefully you enjoyed our shopping episode for today so i have checked out a few items from lv and dior as well also guys what my ca did he actually just polished my the padlock for my louis vuitton alma bb and i would love to hear from you guys are you also experiencing same thing with the padlock in case of your speedies or alma bbs because honestly i have just received this in i have just used it one time and unfortunately i am noticing that these hardware are tarnishing really really fast i am going to do a separate video on those also i have noticed something on the handle of my back which made me a little bit worried about my new baby but again as mentioned i'm going to do a separate video entirety with my louis vuitton alma bb so guys i would love to hear from you what do you think of our episode for today and please comment down below if you are experiencing same thing with the hardware of your louis vuitton Back. So before we end our episode, I'm inviting everyone to please join our ever-growing fan. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. A million thank you for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. Bye!